Good morning students. You are in standard 7. Today we are going to see subject mathematics. I will be taking you some of your chapters. Okay. Today we are going to learn your chapter number 8. Algebraic expressions and operations on them. Okay. Now what, what you have said in the uh, till now you have learned about arithmetic. Addition, subtraction of the numbers. Okay. Today we are going to see a algebraic expression. Algebraic expression. Now, expression means what? Expression means a single or group of terms combined with symbols positive plus or minus now if you see for example 7 plus 5 24 into 7 now now here every term of expression is a constant term so we call this expressions as a numerical expression i repeat now see Expression means what? It is a single or group of numbers or terms combined with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Like that it is there. And so now we will take some example 7 plus 5, 24 into 7. In that if you see this is also an expression but this expression is called as a numerical expression expression because every term in this expression is a constant. So we call this as a numerical expression. Okay. Now I will be, be showing you some example. I will be telling you one example. Now if you have a textbook, see your textbook page number 55. There this is the square. Okay. Now if you see this square I will consider this. How I have made the this square by using a sticks. Now how many sticks are there in this? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the, I mean, this is the arrangement of stick is made. So it becomes an a square. Okay. Becomes a square. Now this is the 1 square. Okay. Now if I take like this if I do 2 squares. The squares are 2. Now see here 4 sticks are there. Now here how many sticks will be there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the one common. Now this is 1 square. This is 2 squares. They are attached. Now like that if I take 3 square, 4 square, 5 square like that. Now this if I, it is a, here the number of square is 1. Number of sticks are 4. So how can I write this as 3 plus 1? Okay, this I can write as 6 plus 1. Now if 3 squares are there, what, how many, if 3 squares are there, I will get 10 sticks and I will be writing 9 plus 1. Okay, so like that it will become. So if I have n squares, so how I, I will write 3 into n plus 1. So if you see your textbook page number 55, the arrangement of the squares, if you see the pattern in that, what you have observed is number of sticks. What you have done is number of sticks is equal to, what is that? 3 into number of squares plus 1. So what you have observed is number of sticks is equal. 3 into number of square plus 1 in this example. That means if you know, don't know how many squares are there, then how you will write? If there are n square, so 3 into n plus 1. That means 3n plus 1. Now, in the example, what you have observed? 1 square, 2 square, 3 squares are there. They are attached together. Okay, so that means the number of squares are changing. So accordingly the number of sticks are also changing. So if you what you have seen that this is a variable. 
it is changing variable means it is a changing okay so this is the if we don't know the number of squares then we can write that in place as n okay and we n is a variable because it is changing like how we have done 3 into 1 plus 1 3 into 2 plus 1 what we got 3 here 7 uh, here we got as 4 here we got as 7 9 then 3 into 3 plus 1 so 9 plus 1 10 like that that means this is a changing these are changing so like this here n is a variable so this is known as a algebraic expression why because here the alphabets a b c d x anything you can use that is what is an algebraic expression now if you see the examples suppose if there are these three balls are there what you will write three balls if three triangles are there if t three t's are there so in this also what you will observe this three t's is again here the variables are there so for one more example i can show you is suppose if x plus x plus y plus y plus y if i want to like this what i will do x plus x is 2x plus y plus y plus y so 3y so this is again an algebraic expression okay if i want to find out suppose this is a rectangle so this is length this is breadth what is the area of perimeter of a rectangle what is the perimeter of a rectangle perimeter of rectangle is twice length plus twice breadth that is 2 into l plus b okay so what you have observed up till now what you have studied now 3 3n plus 1 then 3t that what you have seen 2x plus 3y 2 into l plus b it is are algebraic expressions okay and what is that n t here 2 uh, sorry x y then l b they all are variables okay these are the variables in this example again i will repeat now see i will write the ex examples again so you will come to know what is what is a variable see 3n plus 1 3t then 2x plus 3y okay then 2 into l plus b in this n t x y l b these are they are the variables means the values their values are changing and this expression these expressions are known as algebraic expressions okay now we will learn in detail what now see here in the expression 3x this is very very important because now onwards still in the higher classes this expressions will come algebra algebraic expression so this is very important 3x so this is a one term in that 3 is is a coefficient what it is known as 3 is a coefficient correct and x is variable see in 3x 3 is a coefficient and x is a variable now in suppose if i take example minus 15 t so in this case minus 15 is a coefficient and t is a variable this is very very important again see 3x in that 3 is a coefficient, x is a variable. Minus 15, t, minus 15 is a coefficient and t is a variable. Now, we will see one table. See, term, where you will, then you will come to know what is a term, what is coefficient and what is variable. Now, for example, we will take 11 mn in this in this what is coefficient coefficient is 11 variables m and n now if i take 9 x 
square y cube is that now see whenever you will take the coefficient if minus sign is there you have to take along with that sign now we are we are not taking plus sign we are not writing plus sign that means it is understood that plus sign is there okay now whenever the minus sign is there with the term you have to take along with that so what is the coefficient over here minus 9 what which are the variables x and y now we will take 5 upon 6 is equal to p so in this case 5 upon 6 is a coefficient and p is the variable now if i take a now see nothing is there a is there only a is there that means 1 into a is there but we are not writing one because it is understood that one is there okay so your coefficient is one and variable is a so this is very important so these are the terms this is the coefficient is a number which is there this is the coefficient and the whenever it comes in alphabet they are known as the variables have you understood up to this one now we will go for terms like terms what do you mean by all like terms now see 2x 5x minus 2 upon 3x now in this case what you can see is the power of x is same power of x power means suppose x raised to 1 2 if it is like that then it is different but here in this terms what is there when the power of variable is same then we can call it as a like terms then if i write like this, for this is the one example another example you can see is 5x square y then 6 upon 7 x uh, y x square now in this case also if you see the power of x is 2 in both the terms and power of y is 1 in both the terms so they are the like terms okay what do you mean by unlike terms unlike terms means if you take the example 7xy okay 9y square minus 2xyz now if you see that the power power is different in this case now see Here y power is one. Here y power is two. Here and here only two. Here two variables are there. Here one variable is there. Here three variables are there, and the power is one. So they are unlike terms. If you if I write eight m n, then eight n square n square, then eight m cube n. Now here also if you see the power is different. So what they are? They are unlike terms. okay so in the this is what is the introduction whatever is there that we have seen of this chapter okay